our daily lives? Mathematics is everywhere. We use math in measuring, calculating, distance, solving problems, and others. But today, we're going to show you the other forms of math, which is important for students like us to know and learn. I'm going to show you the quadratic equation using factoring method. But what is quadratic equation? Quadratic equation is a polynomial equation of a second degree. The general form of this is ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, where x represents a variable or unknown, and a, b, and c is a constant where a is not equal to zero. On the other hand, factoring is one of the methods to solve quadratic equation. For example, let us find the root of ax squared plus 2x minus 15 equals 0. The first thing that we need to do is write 2x since we have x squared above the factor equation. Next, we are going to find the two numbers that we can multiply to each other that results 15. And we can also add the two numbers that answers negative 2. Please take note, we must be very careful when we use the positive and negative signs to avoid mistakes. With the given equation, we can use positive 5 and negative 3. If we multiply these two numbers, positive 5 times negative 3 is equal to negative 15. And we can also get positive 2 if we add positive 5 and negative 3. And now, we have x plus 5 and x minus 3 is equal to 0. So we have here x plus 5 equals 0 and x minus 3 is equals to 0. The next thing we need to do is to eliminate the 0. To do that, we need to move our two factors to place of 0. We should remember that if we need to move some numbers, the negative sign will turn to positive and the positive will become negative. Therefore, we can get x is equals to negative 5 and x is equals to 3. So our roots are negative 5 and 3. Now let us proceed to our next method using completing the square. In this method, we will be using the formula x squared plus bx times b over 2 squared plus c minus b over 2 squared equals 0. Let us try to solve this example. x squared plus 2x minus 15 equals 0. First, we need to identify the a, b, and c terms. With the given equation, the a is 1, b is 2, and c is negative 15. Then, we are going to apply the formula in this term. So we have x squared plus 2, since b term is 2, and then x times 2 over 2 squared. Since our c term is negative, we will use the minus sign. So, minus 15 minus 2 over 2 squared equals 0. Next, let us simplify this. So, let's just write here x squared plus 2x minus 15 minus 1 because 2 divided 2 is 1 minus 1 squared equals 0. Now that we have a perfect square that is x squared plus 2 times 1, after that we need to factor the perfect square and it would always be in a parenthesis with the power of 2 outside and plus as our operation since our middle term is plus 2.
And how do we get what is inside? Simply, we just need to get the square root of our a and c. Therefore, the square root of x squared is x, and the square root of 1 is 1. That is why we can get x plus 1 minus 16 equals 0. Next is we need to get the square root of both equations, so we need to write this. x plus 1 times 2 equals square root of 16 we will also find the square root of the first equation so x plus 1 equals 4 since 4 is the square root of 16 after that we will move 1 to get the x remember that if we move the number to the other side its sign will change from positive to negative or negative to positive so that we can have x is equals to negative 1 plus or minus 4 so our x sub 1 is 3 next is x plus 1 equals negative 4 so x is equals to negative 1 minus 4 since positive 1 we will transpose it to negative 1. Since it has the same sign, we will add negative 1 to 4, and our x sub 2 is negative 5. Observe, we use the same equation for the two methods of quadratic equation, and it has the same answer. You would know that your answer is correct if you use one equation for the two methods, but still has the same answer. We hope that you learned something about this video tutorial. And if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye everyone. Thank you for watching.